Shredding and loading. It all begins with the cutting and loading of waste tyres. State-of-the-art cutting tools allow for an efficient process in which the need to initially reduce the tyre size is critical. Reduced tyre sizes and pieces increase the rate of efficiency in which the tyres can be loaded and play a fundamental role in increasing the speed of the overall pyrolysis process. The tyres are typically cut into four to five pieces and then travel via conveyor belt and are shredded into pieces measuring approximately five to ten centimetres. Any larger pieces are filtered out and return to the start of the process so that they can be shredded accordingly. The shredded tyres are carefully weighed and then follow a secondary conveyor belt which leads to the key pyrolysis reactor. Pyrolysis. All oxygen within the pyrolysis reactor discharges and the heating process begins reaching an excess of 400 degrees centigrade. Separation of key elements within the pyrolysis reactor allow for the condensers to initialize the cooling down process, resulting in the production of oil. This oil is stored within the collector oil tanks. The pyrolysis plant utilizes its heat generated power supply as well as the pyrolactic oil it has produced to power the plant and also create its own independent electricity supply. These cost effective adaptations also ensure the plant's carbon neutral objective. Gases created from the pyrolysis process are either recycled back into the plant's operating power requirements or enter the gas purifying process in which moisture and harmful particles are removed and the greenhouse effect dramatically reduced.